Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss more about this extension helix along curve and to know how we can make crazy things using this extension. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. So to start with we'll going to make a vertical line along this blue axis. Okay. Just select this particular line and click on your shortcut of the extension helix along curve. A dialog box will appear. You can change the radius, you can change the multiple number of laps you need. You can change the angle at which angle you need the line. You can also change the direction of rotation like from where it should start from the left side of the line or from the right side of the line. And you can also you also get an option to create tubes. In this will move with the radius 600 mm and the laps at 15 section per laps will fit be 20 and right now we don't need any tube so we'll click on no and click on okay it will take some time and create the tubes as you can see it has created this very nice curves at 600 mm radius we'll just select this particular line and drag it and make multiple copies let's take multiple copies of 6 that would be nice to explain it better okay uh, again selecting this line you can change the radius as per your need for now we'll select the radius 2 at 0 and let the radius 1 at 600 mm reducing the total number of laps as 10 and again we don't need any tubes right now so click on okay so you can see we got a really cr uh, nice christmas tree like a structure of this and this we got this 0 mm radius for the upper upper side and 600 mm on the lower side again moving to the next example in this you also get an really nice example of adding noise to the curve which is selecting noise level at 1 and clicking on okay here you can see a better example of what this noise level is now what other things you get as 300 mm we'll select 300 mm you can also change the number of phrases we'll just move to this particular thing in the further part of the video right now we need the tube portion we created yes so the radius of the cube tube should be 25 and number of sides should be 12 let's just click on okay Again uh, we have the same noise level so it has this sort of distortion in this curve. This is how you get this curve. Okay, let's just change this particular example and we'll move further with a curve line. Let's just make two curve lines and right. Also change the number of segments as per your need. I'll go with 24 segment each for the curves. select both the curves and weld them with this extension weld in this we with using this extension you get this really nice single curve we'll also make uh, multiple copies of this with various directions okay so right now okay fine so we'll going to select this particular curve clicking on this helix along curve extension again this time i am going to have this 200 mm radius with multiple number of 10 with 15 number of laps section remains the same and phrase 0 with a tube size 25 mm click on okay oh uh, we just need to see okay we were having this noise level so we'll just delete this particular thing and repeat the process with noise level as 0 click on okay okay so we got a really nice curves along along this particular curve now we'll select this and let's play with the uh, particular angle so we can go with 45 click on okay now we can do one thing we can you know add 45 in this angle and repeat the same process so each time you repeat the process add a angle of 45 degree like in this what i am doing is adding 45 degrees in each time to make a really nice play okay 225 
again to 70 let's just 315 and the last which is 360 so you see how this chain kind of structure you get this in using this particular extension again if you don't need the, this sort of thing you can also make rope using this particular extension so for rope you can select the curve you can click on helix this time we'll go with 100 mm and with 100 mm let's this phrase should be zero everything remains the same click on ok okay uh, i think the curves are really you know the radius is large for the rope so we'll just undo the process again click on this we'll go with 50 mm and 50 mm with the angle zero click on ok this looks nice compared to previous radius again click on this we'll change the phrase at 90 click on ok again select this particular thing change it to 180 degree ok repeat the process repeat the process for 270 degree and ok so you can see you get this really nice rope structure this is what you can do with the, all this helix along curve extension. Another one thing you can make uh, in this vertical direction is like click on helix command. You will go with 300 mm and 300 mm. Okay, let's everything remain the same. We don't need any angles, so remit it zero. Okay, so you can see how nicely it has you know worked on the vertical direction. We can make a variation over here to explain. So I'll just select this particular curve again clicking on the tool and let's just remain the radius 2 at 0 and another radius at 500 and click on OK. Okay, So you can see how it is bending along this particular curve. That's all for today. Let us know if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you learned something new and subscribe if you're new to the channel.